But first, it's Mass Off in New Jersey, just in time for Memorial Day weekend. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Beginning Friday, New Jersey drops its indoor mask mandate for fully vaccinated people. The state is also lifting its six feet social distancing requirement. However, there are several exceptions. Alicia Roberts is live in Collingswood with reaction to Governor Murphy's announcement. Alicia. Jessica, the Garden State was one of the first to mandate masks at the start of the pandemic last year and becomes one of the last to lift those restrictions now, just in time for the unofficial start of summer. I'm totally ready for it. On Monday, New Jersey's governor announced the end of the Garden State's mandatory mask mandate beginning this Friday. Today, I'm signing an executive order that will lift the statewide indoor mask mandate. Uh, this Friday. The easing follows the CDC's May 13th update that fully vaccinated people no longer need to wear a mask or physically distance. I'm vaccinated. Um, most of my friends and family are vaccinated, and as long as the CDC says it's safe, I think, I think we're ready to go. Private businesses may continue to require customers and employees to wear face coverings, and individuals can still choose to wear a mask, mandate or not. I've been vaccinated um, with the Pfizer vaccine, but yes, I'll still be wearing my mask. And while many we saw are okay going without outside, inside changes things. I think it's scary for especially people who work indoors. We really don't know who is fully vaccinated. Something the governor addressed. We are asking people to be responsible and to do the right thing for your own safety and the safety of your community. Adding no masks doesn't mean no pandemic. This pandemic is not over. Lifting the mask mandate is not a license to be a knucklehead. Lifting the mask mandate simply acknowledges how far we've come together and that together we will cross the finish line. And New Jersey will lift, lift its existing indoor gathering limits on June 4th. Reporting live in Collingswood, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you.